All right. Um, sorry about the uh, delay there. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Matt's Off the Cuff Gaming. So you're, if you are watching this, and no one's watching it right. Well, no, <clears throat> take that back. We have one person watching. So thank you for uh, for jumping in here. So if you followed my channel, you know I have played this game before. This is not a blind playthrough, but I wanted to do something new. I'm going to do something I've never done before. I am going to go through an entire Mass Effect playthrough from 1 through 3. And I'm going to... Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to attempt an insanity run. This is not something I normally like to do. I, I have not in things for the gameplay I'm warning for the story but um wait do I really do I really want to do an insanity game playthrough or do I want to do a completionist game playthrough because I've never done a complete completionist playthrough either oops don't want to do that All right, we're going to do a new career Welcome here. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a, a way that I don't normally play. That's what I should do. Maybe I won't commit to an insanity playthrough because insanity is insane by definition and I'm not insane all right we are gonna do a custom mail uh, we're gonna make this guy me please log in to access your profile Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. The Mass Effect Confirm series pre is history. tremendous. But I'm going to treat, I'm not going to say, it's not a blind playthrough, but I'm going to treat this as, if anyone who's watching it and they want to watch someone play it through for the first, not for the first time, but um, I haven't played Mass Effect 1 in two years. Obviously, I played it two years ago when the Legendary Edition came out. And then that playthrough was lost on YouTube. YouTube actually deleted it. They said I violated their terms of service, but they never said how, and they didn't delete my other Mass Effect 2 or 3 videos, which is so weird. And, I, they, and they left my Mass Effect 1 movie videos up. It, I don't understand how I violated their terms of service. It was so bizarre. So then I played it again. I started re-uploading videos, and I got about halfway through the game. I think I got like the Pharaohs, and I was just, and I got sidetracked and did other things. So. In that regard, I do want my full playthrough of Mass Effect 1 on the channel. And similar to what I did when I did Horizon Zero Dawn, when I played it through completion in 2017, and then I played it for a second time in 2020, when COVID first started and I had a lot of free time. Um, and I consider that version and the version I played two years after that I'm sorry, no, the 2020 version, I consider that my definitive playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. That's the one that I can associate mostly with how I play that game. So I'm going to consider this one my definitive version of Mass Effect 1. Um, I'm not going to do Insanity. I said I was going to do Insanity. I'm not going to do Insanity because that's insane. That's not who I like. That's not who I am. Okay, so Spacer. Both your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transfer from posting to posting, never staying in one location more than a few years. Following your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. So Spacer is the one 
uh, pre-service history where your parents were still alive in Mass Effect in the Mass Effect universe. Colonists, you were born and raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing lance patrol and you enlisted military a few years later. And Earthborn, you were an orphan race in the streets of the great megatropolises of covering Earth. You escaped a life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the military, the Alliance military, when you turned 18. So, I like the idea that Commander Shepard, who is looking to become a Spectre, I like the idea that he is a spacer. Um... That's what I typically play on, but this time I'm going to go with colonist. I'm going to say he's a he's a colonist kid out there, and so he understands maybe other cultures a little better. We're going with Confirm colonist. psychological profile. Um, soul survivor, war hero, and ruthless. Ruthless is a, I, I can never get behind ruthless. This is not the kind of character I see Commander Shepard being. He's not someone who is just to get a job. You know, the, where the ends justify the means. Um, cold, calculating, brutal, that's not who I consider Shepard to be. Um, Soul Survivor definitely has some scarring during your service. A, a mission you won went horribly wrong, trapped in an extreme survival situation. You had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people you survived while those around you fell. See, I, the reason why I don't like this one, and while this one does in, have a significant, you know, like a core memory type thing where it's burned indelibly into your mind. What makes Commander Shepard so fantastic in this trilogy is his or her ability to make those around them better. And Soul Survivor, maybe, maybe he's learned that from being a Soul Survivor, but I think that this would fit better in the, mili in the War Hero story. So we're going War Hero. Confirm military specialization. Mass Effect 1... A lot of these other classes, these other abilities, they just they just don't work that well, especially biotics. I know people say adepts are powerhouses in Mass Effect One. I, I mean, Mass Effect One, I tend to find myself using the guns more often than not, uh, just because that's just the way that the game is set up. Um, I find it easier if your squad mates are using their powers. So, but I am going to play Infiltrator. I normally play Soldier, but this to go around, I'm going to go Infiltrator. Confirm facial identification. Um, I play with the normal male Shepherd, the default model, because when I first played this game way back in 2007, this was the only, I didn't know you could change your appearance because I, I did, I just clicked that John Shepherd to start. I didn't know you could custom your, customize your character. I'd never played a game where you could do something like that. And, uh, well, except for Oblivion, uh, Elder Scrolls uh, 4. Um, but I, I was always so blown away when I found out that you could do that. And that became like a, a significant part of what a lot of people did. Um, I didn't choose that option because, and so then my, all my subsequent playthroughs made my mind's eye this is what Shepard looks like. Which, if you look at the pictures of me when I was in my early 30s, this is actually kind of similar to what I look like as well. Not exactly, but you know, I remember when I joined Facebook back in 2009 and like 2010, there was like some um, doppelganger thing going around where everyone was changing their picture, and you could like upload your profile picture to like some AI type thing, and they would, and it would, it would pick out celebrities that most look like you. It picked out for me a picture of Shepard and a picture of Zidane Zidane who was a French uh, soccer player uh, who played for the French national team. So, there you go. Now, I don't really look like this anymore. I'm, I'm a lot older, I'm in my mid-40s, and I don't, I don't think I'm that good looking anymore. <laughs> so, okay, confirm appearance. Profile reconstruction complete. Here we go. Identification confirmed. Uh, we're going to just do normal. I'll live it off. We're doing classic mode. I prefer that. Uh, subtitles. I guess I'll leave subtitles on. I typically don't like subtitles, but I'll leave it on in case people like to watch this. And then squad power usage all. Definitely all. Well, 
What about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discover the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed starting the new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest of stars. The basis of this incredible technology was the force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in the human history. The civilizations of the galaxy called it... Mass Effect. I am playing on a PS5. Hector's Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Neptune? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Requiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. So the Joker is definitely picking up on something that's going on here. So, I'll, I'll, yeah, I agree with you, Joker. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yeah, he sounds upset with you, Joker. He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> oh, goodness. Here, before we get too much further into this, let's let's do some Codex profile. You were raised on Mendor on the fringes of the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, the colony was raided by slavers. The entire settlement was raised and your friends and family were slaughtered. The passing Lions Patrol rescued you, but all your loved ones, but all you loved was destroyed. Uh, you enlisted with the Alliance military and were posted at Elysium. You were there during the Skillian Blitz and attacked on the colony up by a massive coalition force of slavers, crime syndicates, and Batarian warlords. You rallied, the, you rallied the civilian inhabitants, leading them in their desperate fight to hold off the invaders. 
While enemy troops broke through the colony's defenses, you single-handedly held them off and sealed the breach. After hours of brutal fighting, reinforcements finally arrived and the enemy broke ranks and fled. Because of your actions, Elysium was saved and you are regarded throughout the Alliance as a true hero. Okay, timeline, here we go. Uh, 2069, uh, Armstrong Outpost at Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. It is formally founded on July 24th, 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. Of course, the first lunar landing, obviously, by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Um, and Michael, who is the third guy in the crew? Michael somebody. He's like the forgotten guy because he didn't actually walk on the moon because he was the command module pilot. Huh, okay, I can't remember his name. Michael, it wasn't Johnson. Doesn't matter. Uh, the 2103. Uh, Lowell City in um, Eos Cosma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. Looks like we have another person watching. Thank you for whoever has jumped into the broadcast. So we're playing Mass Effect 1. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, 2137. Edfil Ashland Energy Corporation demonstrate, demonstrates helium-3 fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. If you're watching this, uh, there's actually two people watching. Feel free to drop a comment in the chat. Let me know how you're doing. And thank you for being here. 2142, construction of Gargarin Station, which is jump zero, begins beyond the orbit of Pluto. Pluto, which is obviously no longer a planet, which is weird because it hasn't changed. <laughs> uh, 2148, prospectors discovered the Prothean ruins at the Pro uh, Prometheus Planum on Mars. Uh, 2149, translation of Prothean data leads humans to the Charon Mask Relay, or Charon Mask Relay. I think it's Charon. I think that's how it's pronounced. Or, the, or Karen. System Alliance founded to coordinate exploration and colonization of extrasolar worlds. All right, so if you are new to this, the, the car and mass relay. So in the Mass Effect universe, the mass relay that, anchor, that is anchored out beyond Pluto, which connects our solar system to several other solar systems, um, it, is, it was believed to, you know, up until they discovered what it was, it was a mass relay encased in ice. For many, many years, people just thought it was a moon of Pluto, Charon, the moon of Pluto, but it actually was a mass relay. Uh, 2151, a shipping accident at Singapore International Spaceport exposes downwind communities to containers of dust form element zero. Alliance begins construction of Arcturus Station. 2152, roughly 30% of children born in Singapore after the elements zero exposure suffer from cancerous growths. System Alliance begins settlement of Earth's first extrasolar colony world, the planet Demeter. 2154, Commander Shepard is born. 2155, System Alliance occupies completed portions of Arcturus Station as a headquarters. Uh, one year later, 2156, some children of the Singapore ex uh, incident Exhibit minor telekinetic abilities. They can use the force, Luke. 2157, Turians encounter human explorers. First contact war. Occupation and liberation of the human colony of Shanxi. 2158, humans learn of the potential of biotics. An international effort to track element zero exposures begins. Roughly 10% of exposed children show some level of biotic ability. 2160, some are system alliance parliament form. 2165, humans establish an embassy on the citadel. 2170, Batarians attack the alliance colony of Mindwar. So 2170, so 2164, Shepard was born, so 2170, so you were, so Shepard was 16 years old. Jeez, when that happened. Uh, the Skillian Blitz in 2176. Pirates and slavers attacked Elysium, the human capital, in the Skillian Verge. Uh, 2177, Thresher Malls devoured the Alliance colony of Akuz. 2178, in retaliation for the Skillian Blitz, the Alliance fleet wipes out an army of slavers on the moon of Torfin. In 2183, five years after that, is our current date.
Okay. Um, the Systems Alliance yeah. is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that oh alien contact oh, what are you was doing? inevitable, scared me. there was enough political will to Good jointly night. fund an international I'm effort. So. Still, the it alliance was me. often disregarded I mean, I my by those on in, Earth so. until the first contact war. While favor, the please? national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead Thank the you. effort to liberate Shanxi, the alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. <laughs> so my daughter came down. I was, I had my headphones and I'm in the basement and I didn't know she came down. Next thing I know, she's like leaning over me from behind my chair and I look up and she's like above my head and kind of freaked me out. <laughs> my dog did not warn me that someone was here, but of course it's someone who lives here. So why would she warn me? She's not that great of a guard dog. She's a golden retriever. She's giving me the side eye now. But she loves playing video games with her daddy. Yeah. She, she likes it when I scratch her ears. She just loves being wherever people are. Okay, um, so that was about the Systems Alliance. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Good night. Miley, can you turn that light off, please, in the hallway? Thank you. Okay. Um, We'll wait to do council races until we get more of the council races there. Let's go ahead and go to our squad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put all my points into charm. We are going to be doing a Paragon playthrough here. Uh, we will do some Renegade stuff. Don't get me wrong. Or I'm not. I'm not 100% Paragon player. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> no, 
Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on East Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectre's visited. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Ah, oh, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Take it easy, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first answer. I asked about Nihilus. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Oh, what do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races. Like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. Did... Um... Okay. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Okay. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Yeah, that'd be they say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? 
I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and ask what the Protheans were. I thought the were. Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big shit. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology oh. forward 200 years. My doggy but Eden decided Prime to doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interest. Sorry, I was kind of dozing off there. I wasn't meaning to. Council space. So I hope I wasn't leaving the uh, the dialogue choices. Um, I hope I wasn't leaving them for too long there. I have been known to do that from time to time, and it is about 11.15 and 11.15 p.m. where I am. Oh, here's my dog. She's back. Um, I am going to chat here for just a second because I'm going to get some pretzels out here. Just have a little, little snack. On my dog. Here, Christy, you can have a pretzel too. That's a good girl. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The Beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Yeah. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. <laughs> Jake Paul knocks down, knocks Nate, Nate Diaz, knocks down Nate Diaz in the fifth round and round to unanimous decision win. Paul improves to 5-0 versus MS, MMA fighters. Very interesting. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. 
And I said 11.15. It's 12.15. <laughs> I really hope I wasn't asleep for longer, longer than that. <laughs> a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Uh oh Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. The claw! <laughs> the Status claw! Report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Oh, goodness. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Thanks for, uh, uh, thanks for coming hole. in and watching. Ma playing Mass Effect 1, starting a new playthrough. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Playing as an infiltrator. Oh, we just lost another person. They come in, systems. and then they leave. Well, it's okay. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. I said I was playing an infiltrator, and that was Commander. obviously a. Go in uh, heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about <laughs> they survivors, didn't like that. Captain? <laughs> Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. They're probably like, ah, oh, you should be playing as an adept. I'm out of I here, move please. Faster on my own. <laughs> Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. He can count on us, Aaron. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. That's a long ways. Uh... Ship perimeter secure, Commander. There's a long ways to uh, drop down. This place got hit hard, Commander. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Oh god. What happened here? Okay, um... Receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. All right. Where's Jenkins? There's Jenkins. Um, this way. Some burned out 
buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, nope. Big nope. Okay. Time to take these guys out. Goodbye. Hello. Oh, nice shot, Caden. Thanks for your help, Commander. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Williams. Ashley Williams. Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. How? Oh, man. How do you get scrapes you and burns inside the armor? We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Not saying she doesn't have scrapes and burns, but... I mean, it's a legitimate question, right? How do you get scrapes and burns inside your armor? Uh, okay. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Uh, you abandoned them. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Why don't you join us, Williams? We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Uh, we can investigate all these things. Let's talk to her real quick. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. So, they haven't been seen outside the Vale in 200 years. So, this is 2183. So, 1983. And that war lasted for quite a while, if I remember right. So, 1983. When George Brett was covering his bat in pine tar and causing such a ruckus the same year was when the Protheans, or the uh, Corians got booted off their planet. Okay. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Yeah, maybe you didn't abandon them, Williams. I'm just kidding. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. 
Not, not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out. I guess I'll put points in pistols so we can unlock sniper rifles. Um, yeah, let's put it in decryption. One in first aid. And one in barrier. Ashley's gonna go... I take Shepard's helmet off. Just looks better. Good job, guys. <laughs> this is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Oh, dang it. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh, God. They're still alive. Oh. What did death do to them? Nothing good. I hate the Simon Says games. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. 
The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Poor guy. I can shut him up. No, we're not going to do that. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Okay. Cutscene. Sarah. I'm gonna speak. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Uh-oh. What is that? Off in the distance. The one thing I'm amazed of is when people play this game for the first time, a lot of people, they just they don't see the ship right there. They're so focused on looking at the ground. They're like coming there, like, oh, let's play, let's play like this. And there's a freaking ship right there. Anyway, I'm not trying to be mean to people that are first time players. Oh, oh, I'm out of shield. Uh... Sabotage that guy. Oh, oh, what, oh, sorry. Wrong button. Begin manual override. Everybody 
Please stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only... it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Hmm. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. Uh, yeah. W what's going on here, buddy? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Uh oh, Ashley's not gonna like that. That's you. You making a bad decision there. That's a that's a crime. That's a crime. Smuggling is a crime. You shouldn't smuggle things unless you're Han Solo. <laughs> you're breaking the law, Cole. You're breaking the law. Anybody? Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. You don't have a pistol, Cole? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Um, yeah, he may know something. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. Yeah, I wouldn't say name. that, Shepard. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. Um, I think that's all. I have to go. Good luck. Hurricane 1, Banshee 2, take all. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, well, let's let's keep heading over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this mission and wrap everything up. It's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Uh... <laughs> you almost got shot, dude. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. 
Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Why didn't they find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, <laughs> I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor oh. can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> what is this response? Yeah, it is lucky for you. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? No, not really. Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. Ah. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Ah, uh, yeah, let it go, Ashley. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Oh, okay. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Nope. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay, um, how long have I been recording? An hour, a little over an hour. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this mission up. Hello. I trying to do here we go squad uh three points let's put one more there into pistols Kaden let's put yours there and one there Ashley assault rifle and assault train Got a momentary sidetrack there. There's no loot down here, nope.
Accept the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. <laughs> Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shepard, what are you doing? Okay. Um, I'm not sure why Caden is still down. Is it because there's somebody here? those things. There's like some screaming going on in the background, at least I can hear it. We'll take all of that.
There we go. I hate these Simon Says puzzles. Oh, hey Caden, welcome to the party. Thank you for coming back to life. All right, let's investigate this beacon. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. That's not good. Wah, 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 wah. If you're watching this, comment down below if you made it to this part. Let me know how I can do like a face cam for playing on the PlayStation. I have a webcam for my, for my PC. Do I plug it into the PlayStation just like I would anything we else? Just USB? The ship that touched down on Eden Prime. Guess I could try. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Blue boom. Blue. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Doctor Chocolates? Do you have chocolates? How about some smelling salts? <laughs> you had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Oh, Shepard. What? Uh, yeah, I don't feel great. No. Like the morning after shore leave. <laughs> How long was I out? Oh, Shepard, you old dog. About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You were careless. No, it's not your fault. You had no idea what was going to happen. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Thank you. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Yeah, it was definitely some kind of a dream. Uh, but it was more like a nightmare. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. Which means get the, the hell out of here. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad for Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Uh, how about Williams? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. 
I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> no, it's good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Um, yeah. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Sarah. That other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Yeah. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has yeah, allied himself suck. with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Um, not sure. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Uh, I have no idea what it really was. I'm going to say it's our warning. I saw synthetics. Well, I mean, I know Again, what it is, maybe. but you know what I'm saying. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. I'm role-playing here as Shepard. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Okay. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Sarah took it. But I know Sarah. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. But what I don't understand there, I mean, what's the what's the purpose of wiping humanity out? I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. Oh, the council. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. All right. Um. We're going to go ahead and save here. We'll uh, talk to a couple of our crewmates as we go back out before we go talk to Joker. And then in part two, we're going to spend all of part two on the Citadel, probably parts of part three. We're going to do our side quests there. And then part four, uh, we will uh, probably do Artemis Tau. Um, and then we'll be doing some searching, exploring around the galaxy. So. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do like this video, please give me a like. Consider subscribing to the comments. Blah, blah, blah. This is what happens when I try to do this at 12.30 in the morning. My brain is halfway there and I can't even say my own little tagline going out. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up on this video. Leave a comment down below. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. And I will talk to you later. Have a great night.